Okay, this piece of equipment is known as the tilt skillet. On the inside, uh, it holds about 30 gallons. The numbers are inscribed in the back wall of the, uh, of the pan here. If you are told to put 20 gallons worth of product into the tilt skillet, go get a large stock pot, fill it up with water, and bring it over and dump it in and repeat that process until you have about 20 gallons in there. Do not use one gallon containers walking back and forth from the sink 20 times. To operate the machine, uh, one knob controls the, the on and the off and it's a temperature dial here on the side, on the right side of the unit. Very simply to turn it on, turn the knob to the designated temperature you're told. You will hear That is the electronic ignition. If that would continue and not stop, you would want to let me know. Um, that means that the pilot light is not automatically lighting and there's a problem with the machine. It will periodically do that as it heats up and cools down, but if it is a continuous thing, the machine is not operating properly. You do want to preheat this. It'll probably take about 10 to 15 minutes to uh, preheat. So you want to make sure you get that started before you start assembling your product. This uh, machine can do a lot of different things. I can essentially do anything in here I would be able to do in a saute pan or in a deep fat fryer, um, even to the point where I could uh, bake inside of this using a, a dry heat. I told you it is a tilt skillet or called a tilt skillet because it's essentially a large skillet or saute pan and it will tilt downwards for ease of cleaning. Once I begin tilting this, the machine does shut off. Um, on the floor here, I do have a milk crate set up with a stock pot uh, on top of it. That is to raise the elevation of whatever I'm putting my product into so that there is less splatters. If I'm standing directly in front of this stock pot, I will get things splashed on me. Uh, especially hot liquids, you want to be careful, try and stand back a little bit and make sure you tilt this at a gradual pace. Uh, if I do it very fast, there's a good chance that the product will spill out the side and not be funneled into my container. Again, this will tilt the whole way forward. Uh, if you're not comfortable with uh, tilting it and you're dumping the product out, you could also scoop the product out into another container, but it's going to take a longer time. Inside of the unit, on the back part of the lid, there is a uh, lip or a shelf here. Condensation will be building up on this lid as you are preparing your product. Okay? When the lid is lowered, condensation will build. When I lift this up, it will run down the back, hit this drip guard, and back into the kettle. That way it does not drip back behind the machine onto the floor and then create a slipping hazard. There is a port on the top of the tilt skillet that you can use to look in to see your product. Don't continually come over and open the lid if you need something to boil or you're waiting for water to come to boil so you can cook pasta. It does release the heat. It's not going to heat as fast. There is a timer on the machine. Hopefully you can hear that. It is not very loud. I would not recommend using that and relying solely on that. I would go by the clock that is on the wall. To clean this, you very simply need a mild detergent uh, from the pot sinks. You might need to use a uh, metal scrubby or some type of an abrasive cleaner to remove any heavily soiled products from it. The outside of the machine does get hot, so you want to be careful when you are standing around it. Do not touch it. Um, the lid itself will become very warm as well. This is the tilt skillet.